Hey everyone, I'm Austin and this is a continuous glucose monitor. These little discs might not seem substantial at first look, but they're certainly more than what meets the eye. A CGM can provide important updates about how your lifestyle impacts your blood sugar level. But there's a common misconception that they're just for people with diabetes. And let me tell you, that's just not the case. Since I've been using a CGM to monitor my blood sugar, I've gotten some amazing insights into my health that would have otherwise gone unnoticed and untracked. In fact, more than 80% of people with prediabetes are completely unaware that they have it, and I used to be one of them. Most people can expect to see some serious benefits by pulling back the curtain on their metabolism. Here are eight reasons why you should measure your glucose levels with the continuous glucose monitor. The first reason is CGMs reveal where we are on the spectrum of glucose control. There are a couple different tests that doctors order when looking to see how well your body processes glucose, and they all sort patients into one of three categories, normal, pre-diabetic, or diabetic. Most times these tests are performed while you're fasted, and that leaves out some vital information about how your body is responding to food and your environment. With continuous measurement, we can get a clearer picture of where we are on the metabolic spectrum throughout the day. The second reason, current diagnostics miss glycemic variability. While standard glucose tests capture a snapshot in time, CGMs give us the ability to account for glycemic variability, which are the glucose fluctuations we experience throughout the day and night. This measurement is a strong indicator of certain health risks, and CGM gives a more dynamic way to help us identify and avoid spike-triggering foods and behaviors. The third reason is CGM highlights our sugar consumption. I'll be the first to admit a weakness for sugar. The stuff is everywhere, but our bodies don't need any added sugar, and the sweet stuff can send our glucose levels jumping. Tracking real-time blood sugar response provides clear evidence of the way sugar affects our metabolism and reveal the hidden ways we're consuming them. The fourth reason is our definition of normal glucose is kind of broken. 45% of Americans either have diabetes or are on their way to developing it. That's 122 million people who, at one point, were probably told that their glucose levels were normal. More widespread continuous glucose monitoring can help us redefine what normal should look like so that we can set better thresholds and catch metabolic dysfunction a lot sooner. The fifth reason, Understanding individual responses to food helps us tailor our choices. Before you sit down to a meal, it can be useful to understand the concept of glycemic index, to know how fast a food's carbs hit the bloodstream and therefore how big of a spike they may cause. Using a CGM makes this information real and delivers more personalized data about how food and lifestyle choices impact our blood sugar. This helps cut down on the guesswork when trying to land on an optimal diet. The sixth reason, Glucose impacts well-being. Unstable blood sugar is linked to depression and anxiety, brain fog, bad sleep, chronic pain, and poor workout performance. On the other hand, stable blood sugar can boost our energy levels, mood, productivity, and overall well-being. The seventh reason, tracking glucose can inspire good behavior change. I don't know about everyone else, but I can confirm that I make much better food decisions when I'm wearing a CGM. By providing concrete information on our blood sugar, CGMs empower us to transform our behavior around diet, exercise, stress, and sleep. Biosensors and intelligent software encourage us to stay accountable to ourselves. And finally, the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Meaning, although there's mostly only anecdotal data that shows the benefits of the average person tracking their glucose, that doesn't mean more concrete data isn't developing. The technology has only been around for a couple decades and medical science is just waking up to CGM's vast, widespread potential. With more research to come, our ability to use CGM will only continue to help guide and sustain healthy lifestyle choices across the nation. All right, so those are the eight reasons why glucose is worth measuring. If you enjoyed this piece, I highly recommend watching the companion piece to this blog post titled, Why Glucose Isn't Enough for Good Health. There's so much more to optimal metabolic health than monitoring glucose, but we're excited about the many doors that this amazing technology will open for the world to benefit from. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.